shit, man, we've got a yellow flag. Be careful. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh shit, is that Joey? Oh goddamn. Mm. God. Keep your. Cool. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rexy. Keep your cool. The fuck? Shit! Shut the fuck up. This is the car, this is the track, and this is just a crazy, crazy accident. So we have 14 laps of Zandvoort. I'm gonna hop in and show you guys my qualifying. We got the telemetry and an outside view as well for you guys to look at. Pretty heavy braking zone, this first corner. Super important to keep your speed as high as you can. Really difficult because it is such a heavy braking zone to uh, keep that speed high. Riding off of this curb slightly early and trying to meet the end of that curb. Don't have to open all of the way up to the right and you don't want to go too low here. A lot of camber really high up. If you go too far down, uh, you risk like basically catching on to grip and then your car just spinning because there's so much camber down there. Uh, kind of take a slightly center line. You really do not want to put a tire in the dirt there. Uh, you can. You just really have to be careful with your braking. And for me, it's just safer not to do that. Down into fourth here. You can go down into third. I much prefer prefer fourth. You have a lot more grip. Braking on the second white strip of that uh, curb. And then pushing around here. Not going to open it up quite all the way either direction. Braking just about in the center of the track. Pretty heavy trail braking moment there. Not a lot of brake really anywhere except for... Uh, corner one and then this next corner right here is also a decently heavy braking zone but uh, a, a very tricky one because you have like a lot happening directly after it you want to cut some of this curb find the camber down here just barely bleed off the brakes and start to build up the throttle as you find the exit use all of the exit curb braking after the 50 here not super heavy braking you just want to guide the car to a late apex really important to have a late apex this is the final corner and it carries all of the way down to the uh to the line and onto the straight so pretty important to have high speed there this was actually our best lap ever so coming across the line here for a 35.82 our best lap of the week and fittingly in our last race of the week. So we are about three and a half tenths behind Diego. The guys behind us about three tenths behind us. So uh, I'm feeling confident in at least securing P2, starting on the inside in P2. We got Diego there on our outside. 14 laps of Zanvort, and behind us, car number two is being put under pressure from car number five, who claims the inside into corner one, and it looks like he's going to get that position done. Car number two not wanting to fight that, as he probably realizes that him fighting that would lose, uh, they would lose touch with me and Diego, and I'm sure he is really has his eyes on p2 or p1 get a little bit too far over that curb just barely touching the dirt losing traction for just a moment but able to catch it that is going to absolutely destroy my run so car number five goes through now he is in p2 we are sitting in p3 and we're going to defend it on this occasion i was beating myself up mentally over that stupid mistake a mistake i haven't made very often actually that was the first time that i've made that mistake michael up ahead of us 0.3 tenths and about two tenths behind us to Matt. So we're in a good spot here. Uh, we're a little bit closed in, but we are, I mean, we're sitting in P3, which is always a good place to be. I did believe that I was faster than Michael. I really put some uh, focused practice in, a lot of it right before this race. I was feeling very confident in my pace. Um, I, I just didn't want to rush anything. So settling slightly back, we're about four tenths in both directions. We've got a few cars behind us and then a slight drop off. So we're kind of in a group of five at the moment towards the front of the pack, or really a group of, really a group of four there's about half of a second from p4 to p5 now up ahead diego is 1.6 seconds ahead so he has pulled quite a healthy gap uh, mostly due to my mistake out of turn three on lap one which has really given him a lot of space to breathe it's going to give him space to save his tires he's not quite delivering too much slip to michael there's not really many straights on this track so i feel like slipstream isn't as effective on this track as it is on some others getting right up behind michael here and um I, I wasn't wanting to immediately get past him. I mean, I wanted to work together. I really just wanted to keep up with Diego was my goal, who is sufficiently in the lead at this point. And a huge part of this track is if you don't have pressure on you and you can just take the racing line at your own pace, you are able to save tires so much. Looking to make any move on this track and you start to put a little bit more heat into the tires than what you would be if you were just driving by yourself. And that affects... The, um, the grip quite heavily towards the end of the race. So a little jealous that Diego is uh, up there by himself, but also that's by nobody's fault except for my own. Lap number three, the gap from P4 to P5 has begun to open up. P6, number 11 here, looking to make a move. 
he is in fact going to look for it into the very weird kind of slightly off camber right hander takes too much curb into the wall and he's going to slide out fortunately nobody else was collected in that and that is going to give p5 um, a, a lot less pressure so he's kind of able to run his own race now up ahead the uh, p2 three and four myself number five and car number four still just chilling here this is um a few laps later the the uh gap to diego hasn't really changed all that much actually not at all it's still around 1.6 1.7 seconds and uh, that was hopeful to me however at the same time i was slightly in dirty air of the car ahead of me and that was causing me and i'm sure it was causing matt some problems behind in terms of uh unnecessary sliding you just don't quite have as much downforce not as if this car has all that much downforce to begin with but you do definitely notice it on some of these corners especially on a track like this where there's so many sweeping long corners that really really put pressure onto your tires turn one of lap number four and matt behind us is going to leave us as he just gets loses grip in the middle of turn one and that's going to put him in a pretty horrible place he's parked in the pit lane and he loses i think that was six positions before he is able to climb back onto the track not able to build up enough speed to defend himself against um that guy so loses another one meanwhile we have no pressure behind us anymore so nothing to lose everything to gain i do want to get around this guy it might be smart to work together with him but at the same time i feel i feel that i'm faster i, I feel very confident in my pace and um I think that we both of us have a better chance of catching Diego if I were ahead of him and that may sound slightly cocky and it slightly is but th this is the first race where I finally truly felt confident in my pace so hoping to get a move done we get right up on his tail coming through here and then he just doesn't really get onto the throttle here it I almost ran into the back of him managed to avoid it but still lost quite a bit of time there as that delayed uh, me going on to full throttle by probably a second. So we end up losing about three or four tenths there. I'm not sure what happened to Michael. You can see on the relative, he drops further and further back. And if I had to hedge my bets on something that happened there, I'm leaning towards like maybe his kid or like his grandma like sprayed him with like the spray on sunscreen and it got into his eyes because I feel like there's a really small likelihood of that happening so the payout would be huge if I was right uh, basically nobody behind us into p2 now back where we started 2.2 seconds behind Diego and I mean really I was feeling like this was a possible we, we could catch this guy our fastest laps were less than a tenth apart and uh, our last laps were about three tenths apart, but I was blaming that on uh, the whole incident of trying to get around uh, Michael right there. However, my pace would fail me. Flashing forward to lap number six, and Diego has opened up the gap to about four seconds at this point. His last lap was about five, six tenths faster than mine, and I had to turn to literally begging this guy to slow down. That's all I could think of. Yo, Diego, bro, you think you could just like give me P1, bro? I swear I'd, I'd never do this, but I thought it would be funny if he actually did like, and I, th that would be my first win of the week. So it, it would be awesome. Okay, Diego, how much? How much for P1? Name your price. Literal crickets from this guy though. Like literal crickets. He was saying nothing, nothing in the chat. Diego, please, I will do just about anything. You never know. I mean, you never know if you don't ask for stuff, honestly. Like there, there he is though. He crossed the line ahead of me. So yeah, he, di he didn't stop basically. Maybe next time, Diego. And I was honestly hoping that like his 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 uh, chat wasn't working or like he didn't have chat. He had it muted or something. But then he responded. <laughs> Maybe next. So he was just ignoring me the whole time. Ah, oh, whatever. It happens. This guy. This is the same guy from last race. I don't know if anybody else has watched the last race, but this guy, <laughs> again, is spamming the chat with like craziness. And I have to go back and see what exactly he is ranting about. So he called out like three people. This is him. He's number 14 in this race. He was car number 23 in the last race. However, there's only 17 cars this race. So just a couple of corners in and he's gonna go side by side with this guy around turn three, lap one. I, I mean, he didn't really open that corner up as much as it normally does, but the guy did run into him, so. I, I don't know you guys can be the judge of that they both join track while another car is coming through and then they run into each other and at this point I kind of figured it was going to be a pretty tough race for this guy he's already down into I, I think there was only 17 people so he's down into p17 of 17 a few laps later they are side by side as car number 13 I think he spun at some point so 17 gets back ahead and now car number 13 is looking to get that position back runs into the back of him 
into the wall, loses his wing, but it comes back. However, he does lose his mirror and then he's facing the wrong way. So 14 gets that position. I want to say like cleanly on his part, definitely. I mean, that was all on car number 13. Now, car number 11 from earlier who we watched, he was fighting for P5 or yeah, fighting for P5 slides out. And I thought he did everything safely here, but upon further investigation, he turns around and rejoins the track as this guy is coming through and then spins out into this guy. So this guy did nothing wrong, just gets collected for no reason. 11 moving back onto the track and he's definitely going a bit slow at this point. Uh, I mean, his, his pace is, he's getting back up to pace and car number 14, towing along. He is now up into P15, I think, so looking to fight for P14 with car number 11, perhaps looking around the outside, decides better of it, and settles behind 11, but then sends it on the next corner, sends it a bit deep, car number 11, looking for a move underneath, makes contact, and then opens up the corner, ignoring car number 14, sending him off to the side. So that, I mean, already, some of this stuff is valid, I think, that uh, car 14 was, was complaining about, but I mean, honestly, I don't think you should be in chat at all, especially if you're rejoining <laughs> the track inside of another car. I'm not sure what happened there. He disappeared and then he came back inside of the Domino's car. Somehow car number 11 is now behind him. And um, this guy, he once again disappears, comes back with a damaged bumper. Car number five, who was the guy who probably had sunscreen sprayed in his face halfway through the race, is uh, making his way back up the order. So he was sitting in P2. He's now looking to go around car number 14 and 14... I mean, he's not really doing anything wrong defensive here. I think five was just much faster. And then 14 just kind of spins himself out here. So I'm not sure why he was complaining about car number five. I don't think car number five did, did anything wrong there. 14 back on the track. If you watched the last video, you know he had a lot of trouble with getting back onto the track, but he does it pretty cleanly in this instance. And that was his whole race. I guess there were some valid things there to be upset about. Uh, but I, I feel like you just have to look at what you can do better. For some reason, he almost runs into car number five. Interesting way to end the race. Here are the results. Gaining 58 I rating almost back into 4K, which would be freaking awesome. We also got a decent amount of safety rating from that. Overall, just a very enjoyable race. Um, and I had a lot of fun trying to catch Diego. And yeah, our lap times, I think we both did this on lap three and then our lap times just tanked from there. Uh, mostly mine, mine tanked a lot harder. Now I do wanna check real quick the standings as this was my last race of the season. So season standings, we're gonna take a peek at real quick. Division two, because I am division two and peep it boys, I am in fucking first place. <laughs> Let's go! We won Division 2. Um, we did have 117 starts, which was significantly more than anybody else. But you know what? A win is a win. Joey claims P3, so congratulations to Joey. Checking the overall standings. This is for the Open uh, Series, by the way. P21 for us, which I'm not upset about. These guys are super fast that I'm competing with. Dalton at the top. Remember that name because he's going to be on the channel pretty soon this week. And um, checking into the Fixed Series, Division 2. Pause for dramatic effect. Let it load. Another one, boys. Another one. Honestly, Joey too. Joey's in P3 as well. So won that one by about 60 points. The guy behind me didn't even do Zanboard. So he obviously would have taken P1, but he didn't. And that's racing. You know, sometimes you get a win like that. And uh, that's how we got our win. All divisions for the fixed series and we're P16. Also not upset about that. Dalton did not race uh, the fixed series, however. So Corey takes the dub on that one. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out some other stuff and I will see you next season.